Hi, good morning. Uh, it's Saturday, July 1st. Welcome to July. <laughs> to July. So it's uh, been a crazy month, actually June, but it's over and July's upon us. And this is July 4th weekend, actually, because uh, I'm we're off from work uh, Monday and Tuesday. So I don't got to back go back to work till Wednesday, which is great. And then when I go back to work, I just got to work three days, and then I'm off on vacation until the 19th. So. I'm looking forward to this time to be off, and uh, I am going to the movies today. I'm going to see Baby Driver, because uh, I like the actor who was in uh, uh, The Fall Under the Stars. I forget, Anson Englehart, I think that's his name. i will probably butchered his last name, but him, he's in it. Him along with uh, who, I think he should have been Han Solo, I think, because I think he looks like a young Harrison Ford, which is why I think he should have been uh no offense to the actor who's playing him, but but I think he should have been uh, the young, in the Han Solo solo movie that they fired the director and brought on Ron Howard for the directors, you know, those you know the two directors that to do the Lego movie. I forget their names, Mil, uh, Miller and some. Uh, <laughs> when I always got to try to think of the names on the spot, I always butcher them and, and forget them. But anyway, you know, those two directors did the Lego movie who were. Who were you know, fired basically from uh, and Ron Howard was brought on. So anyway, uh, he's in Baby Driver along with uh, I'm, I'm going to draw a blank on her name on my future wife uh, uh, who played Cinderella and also was in uh, in uh, uh, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Okay, well, I can't remember her name right now. I'll put it over the video if I remember. <laughs> I just drawn a blank on her name. Who I think is just absolutely beautiful and uh, English actress, and she's uh, in Baby Driver as well. As long as Jamie Fox, uh, I think uh, a lot of stars in this in that movie. Uh, I can't think of all of them now, but there's a lot of stars in, the, in that movie. Anyway, so and it looks funny. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna see uh, Baby Driver today, and then come back and uh, you know do a little movie shopping and uh, do maybe watch another movie if I can, but. Oh yeah, I wanted to make mention because I want to, or maybe I'll do the stream when I come back because I wanted to do a, a stream about uh, about Justice League about because the trailer number official trailer number two technically is trailer number three I guess is coming out uh, in a couple of weeks uh, at Comic Con on that Saturday I think which is the eighth fifteenth the twenty second it's coming out on the twenty second that that's when it's supposed to be released I think on that Saturday in Comic Con and then they'll release it online and there was a lot of speculation about that trailer is going to be where Superman's going to be in. And I wanted to talk about it because a lot of people, you know, are still saying, oh, don't put Superman in it, uh, you know, prescription. And a lot, I know people debunked that trailer and said, uh, that's not, you know, even saying it's not, you know, that's not what's going to be. I think Alberto Gonzalez people said it's not going to be the way they describe it, especially the evil Superman part, you know, with Superman with the black costume and the red eyes and stuff. And they said, it's not going to be, he said, it's not going to be that, but I was, so maybe I'll do that hangout when I come back. But I wanted to do that hangout this week. But unfortunately, I was going to do it Thursday, but I had to stay at work because somebody didn't show up. So I had to stay an extra two hours. So it kind of threw off my schedule. And plus, a lot of trailers have dropped this week. <laughs> it seemed like this is trailer week <laughs> for some reason. A lot of trailers. I and mean, there's still some that I haven't done yet, reactions to, which I think I'm going to try to you know, get caught up with those trailers. I think like Bad Moms, Christmas, I think that one I didn't do yet. I think Death Note. I didn't do that one yet either. Uh, uh, Bad Moms I have, but I haven't watched it yet, which is funny because I know because I heard they were supposed to be making a Bad Dads, but I think they changed their mind, which I think was a good idea anyway. Not to change their mind and go with the bad, you know, do the actual with the Bad Moms because that, yeah, the first movie uh, made a lot of money and I heard it was really funny and I got it and I like the stars in it. So I'm gonna watch that before the other movie comes out, but. Anyway, uh, yeah, so what I want to uh, talk about in this vlog, besides those things, is like I said, I'm going to um, go see Baby Driver and probably do a stream and talk about two things in that stream. I think I'm going to talk about the Just League trailer number, Fish Trailer number two, what I, you know, the description of it and what I, what I like about the description and stuff and also about Matt Reeves, who's out promoting, you know, War for the Planet of the Apes, which comes out on the fifth, on the 
14th uh, of July. He's and he's talking about what he's going to make his Batman film, his solo Batman film is going to be and stuff. More noir driven, uh, detective Batman, which I love. So I'm going to talk about those two things in the stream that I do. So hopefully when I get back, then I'll do the stream. Hopefully make an hour and a half or something, depending on how it goes. Sometimes, you know, these things, you know, you only want to do it for an hour, but, you know, people participate and ask questions and stuff, and it comes up. So this will be my official second stream that I'm going to start. So I'm going to try to do that later today. Okay, so hopefully I can, you know, I'll do that. I can get back in time. When I, well, I do, I will get back in time. So I'm going to see the, I think, the 11.45 show. And the movie's about two hours, so let's say 2 o'clock. Get back up town by let's say four. Back in the house by five, I think. So I should be able to do the stream maybe from six to seven or something like that. Okay, we'll see how it goes. But I want to do the stream today, so so I'm going to try to do that anyway. So just so you can be forewarned about that. Anyway, um, I also wanted to talk about um about work a little bit, and I'm not going to mention any names and stuff. I remember talking about this before. And um, in my blog earlier, um, like I said, at work we, I mentioned this, you know, you know, months back when it happened. You know, we got a new company that came in, and you know, the old company, outsourced company, we worked for, and lost the contract. The new company came in, and some people left, but most people stayed on with the new company and stuff. And they kind of cut a person from where we worked, my department where we worked at, and we were kind of down a man, or well, two men actually, and. Or two persons, and then we got we hired another person finally. And initially, this guy, you know, he was working out. He seemed to be working out. And he was, you know, experienced older guy. And I remember when he got when he, he came for the interview and we introduced him and stuff. And and he seemed like a. And I told the boss that he, after meeting him and stuff and talking with him briefly and 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 then you know it was a little while before he got hired. I said, yeah, pick him. I think because he's you know older guy. Not to have to buy a scheme to young, younger people, but I just wanted somebody with experience, and, and older people tend to be more responsible. I, I would think, you know, not that young people don't be responsible, but you know, we're, most people that work there just we just wanted a, somebody with experience, basically, is what we wanted. Uh, yeah, and I realize that's kind of a double edged sword because how you get you don't get experience unless you get hired to get experience, right? But we just wanted somebody that was, you know older because we thought that person would be more responsible. So, and I remember saying to her, yeah, he, he, he appears to be, you know, to be a decent guy. So, you know, and at the time we were hurting and we really, I said, okay, you know, let's, if you can hire him, I definitely like what I see of him. And so a couple of weeks later, he did get hired. And like I said, initially he seemed to be, you know, coming to work every day and Doing the work and stuff, and willing to learn and stuff, and he knew how to run the machines and was willing to learn and all that stuff. So it seemed to be a good fit. But then there was a day where he didn't didn't show up and didn't call or anything, and we didn't know what was the matter with him. And then he, you know, he came, he, you know, he had an excuse ready for us why he didn't call or anything. And so you know, he kind of let that go. And then he came in and. Again, we call out again. Okay, and then it's just, it just seems to be a lot of incidents with this guy. And I don't want to make projections of our thing because, but just from what we've seen again, and yesterday, uh, he he was supposed to, like I said, I don't, I don't get too specific, but let's just say he was scheduled to be in. Okay, he told us, well, actually he was scheduled to be off initially, be off on Friday for a personal reason. And then, but he told us on Thursday before he left, he said, no, I'm going to come in. Okay, so you say, okay. So we were waiting and then he didn't show up. And, you know, we were, you know, we called, called him at the number he gave us and left him in the rest and just tell him, you know, let us know, you know, if you're coming in or not, you know. So we waited and nothing, nothing. And then it was like a quarter to four. And that he just popped up at work. This he just showed up, and and you know we talked to him, and then and then let's just say that the excuses started happening, and I let him. You know he didn't want to initially talk to the boss lady, but I told him, listen, 
you got to talk to the boss lady you're here, and this could be your job, so you got to talk to her. So suffice to say, he's coming with a lot of issues lately, and like I said, I don't want to get into anybody's personal business and stuff, but I, th I think he has his issues, and I'm, I'm, I was kind of, I'm hoping, like I said, I'm going to talk to the, the boss lady on, on Wednesday and to see if he can, make, can monitor the situation. Hopefully, he can rebound, because like I said, I like the guy as a person, what I've seen so far, but if you can't depend on him to come in, I think unfortunately, because especially if you get that 90-day grace period, if you show that you're not responsible, they may have to let you go. So I'm hoping he can rebound and and stuff. So, and I think she can see it too. So hopefully he can rebound after the period and bounce back. Because like I said, he's a nice guy, what I've seen of him, but the, the no-shows and stuff, you know, the stuff add up. And like I said, you have that 90-day kind of probationary period that you can't show that you're responsible, you know, they're going to you know, let you go, unfortunately. And I hate to see anybody lose a job, but like I said, part of a job, like what is it? somebody said like 90% of a job is showing up or something. So you got to show that you're dependable and that you can be counted on. So, so hopefully that works out. And I'm sorry to get personal on that, but I know I talked about this before on the blog about my job and stuff. So I just wanted to mention it because I was thinking about it all yesterday. I even talked to my sister about it and stuff, and she gave me some advice and stuff because she used to, you know, manage a bunch of people and stuff. So she gave me some advice and stuff, and and I think I'm going to take her advice. So she's going to like talk to the manager and, and see, make sure she's on, she's aware. Well, she, I think she is aware of it because I always report to her when somebody's out and stuff. So. So she's aware of it, but I want to make sure she, you know, and I think she's aware because there's that 90 day grace period. So hopefully, like I said, he can bounce back this in this month here and show that he's more consistent. And then that way, we'll, you know, he can keep his job, hopefully. So fingers crossed about that. But anyway, I am going to see Baby Driver. Let's not put up heavy drama. I'm going to see Baby Driver, which I'm really uh, looking forward to seeing. I love the trailer for that. And come back and I'll do my review of that, but I also want to do a stream, I want to do a stream with um, talking about the two, the Just League uh, trailer, um, two, official trailer to what's going to be in it, and if I believe it or not, and also what Matt you said about his solo Batman film, okay, so those two things will be in the stream, I want to do that when I get back, so hopefully I can do that um, when I get back, maybe around 6 -ish. Or something, 6 p.m. Eastern time, something like that. I'm trying to shoot for that, maybe. I'm just trying to do it for an hour because, like I said, I got to film my review of a baby driver and and maybe another movie if I get a chance to watch it. But I probably won't get a chance to watch another movie by the time I get back. So, but I definitely uh, I look forward to these three days off. Well, four days technically off. Well, two days technically off from work. And, you know, it's weekend here, so that's four days, really. So, hopefully. Everything works out, and uh, again, look for my review of Baby Driver later today, and hopefully I can do the stream, so that will go up, you know, once I end it. Hopefully I can do that for like an hour. Hopefully I can get some, like I said, initially when I did my first stream, I got a couple of people to join the stream, which was nice, you know, to, you know, respond, which I thought was pretty cool, from, especially my first stream, and thank you, Sammy Faladar, for walking me through that in my first stream, so hopefully I can do a little better on this stream. Okay, so hopefully everybody have a great... 4th of July, safe 4th of July, and enjoy the time with your family and stuff. The summertime's up, school's out, so enjoy. I think it's supposed to rain later today, I think, but I think after that, it's supposed to be really nice the next three days after the day, so I'm looking forward to that. So everybody, have a great weekend. Take care. Safe 4th of July. This is Trey Pastor saying so long, and take care.